Hello, welcome back. Another week of Win Big Sports Betting Sports Talk here all on the Win Big Sports Talk Sports Betting Podcast. I'm Gabriel Fry. Thanks for being with me this morning. Wow, it's Saturday. We get to play college football today. So excited. We have college football picks coming up first. We'll follow it up with NFL football picks all right here on WBSN. Be sure to check in, get live updates at WBSNSports.com. We've got everything you're looking for. You can also get connected with us on social media, on Twitter at WBSN Sports. We'd love to have you along for the ride, and we're on all major social media platforms, YouTube, TikTok, whatever you name it, Facebook. Let's get started. Jump right into it with our college football picks from WBSN. First one, this is a noon Eastern time kick. Catch it on ESPN2. It's Arkansas and Florida. This is a good one. Um, Florida is a big time favorite. The Razorbacks have struggled in conference play, dropping all five games, and they have victories only at the expense of Western Carolina of the FCS and Kent State. Arkansas's defense finally showed up last weekend at home against Mississippi State and have allowed 24 more points in the first five games of the six game losing streak, but the offense managed just a field goal in a 7-3 loss as seven-point favorites. The Razorbacks turned the ball over twice, managed just 200 total yards of offense, and went 5 of 17 in third down efficiency against MSU as they hit rock bottom. They also rushed for just 2.8 yards per attempt while averaging 3.1 yards per pass. That in mind, I mean, I think they're the pig anyhow in this matchup 90% of the time, uh, but with that stat in mind, definitely going to lean the way of the Gators in Florida. Moving on, it's a 12 noon Eastern time kick. Connecticut at Tennessee. UConn battling the Volunteers. UConn's 1-7, Tennessee 6-2. Tennessee in one of the best stretches in program history. UConn and Tennessee squaring off in Knoxville. If this were college basketball, it'd be a clash between two top 10 teams. Um, if it were women's basketball, it would be a battle between the best programs in the game's history. Instead, this is college football, and it's going to be a thrashing. The Vols are favored by a whopping five touchdowns. I think UConn will probably struggle to keep it much closer than that. Tennessee the pick, an obvious choice, and they're probably going to walk away with an easy victory in this one. Next one, Kansas State. They are at Texas. That's going to be a tough place to travel to. 6-2 Kansas State, the Wildcats. Longhorns are 7-1. It's a noon Eastern time kick. You can watch this one on Fox. Texas is big favorites, 5.5 points. Um, a lot of people are all in on Kansas State. And they're, they're backing them. They're saying this will be a great Big 12 showdown. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning the way of the Longhorns. Um, this would be a good one if you're a big Kansas State fan. It would be a safe one, or at least not a safe one, but an interesting one to bet on. Um, in favor of Kansas State and the Wildcats. I'm not seeing it. I don't, I don't think they have a chance of coming away with a victory, but I like the bet in that one. Next game, a noon Eastern time kick. You can watch this on FS1 at Spartan Stadium. Michigan State hosting Nebraska's Cornhuskers. Oh, boy. Nebraska is the favorite, but only by a couple of points. It's a close one. Three-point favorites. Two struggling offenses. An under-over is set at 34 and a half. This one is going to be very interesting. Um, I would lean towards the under if you're going to bet on it. And I'm liking Michigan State for the big upset. That's my pick. It's not a safe bet. It's not something I would probably gamble a bunch of money on. But that's my pick. I'm, I'm looking for MSU to come away with the upset and their third win of the season in that one. Also at noon, watch it on ABC. Notre Dame at Clemson. Clemson is not doing well for the first time in a long time. Now is the time to buy low on the Clemson Tigers and sell high on Notre Dame after a blowout win against a lackluster Pittsburgh team. Clemson hasn't lost three games straight since 2010. The Tigers play in Death Valley this weekend. Clemson is 3-1 at home this year and 1-3 and on the road. The only home loss was against number 4 Florida State in overtime despite outgaining the Seminoles by over 100 yards. The problem hasn't been the defense, it's been 
more the abundance of misfortune for Clemson in their four losses. Uh, in, in those losses, the Tigers combined two for seven on fourth down and a six turnover margin in favor of opponents due to 10 fumbles and a few missed field goals in the mix. So based on that, you know, I really want to go the way of Clemson. I like that bet, but on paper, I'm going to go ahead and stick with Notre Dame and the Fighting Irish. I am picking Notre Dame to win, but I would consider betting on Clemson. I mean, I, there's, a, there's a strong case there for the Tigers. Noon Eastern time on CBS, Ohio State at Rutgers. Buckeyes, 8-0, Rutgers, 6-2. Scarlet Knights playing host. Buckeyes are pretty big favorites. I mean, I don't, you know, it'd be fun for Rutgers to come out swinging and uh, do something, anything, but Ohio State is 20-point is favorites. I mean, I don't think you could pick against them in this scenario. Buckeyes walk away with a win. On ESPN at noon, the big time, prime time, Texas A&M at Ole Miss. Mississippi playing host, the Rebels, to the Aggies. Ole Miss is currently the favorite in this. Texas A&M heading up to the Grove, looking to turn things around. Picked up a 30-17 win over South Carolina last time out in College Station, but winless in two true road games against Tennessee and Miami of Florida, while also failing to cover in each of those outings. So based on that, Rebels, I'm looking for the win from Ole Miss today. They'll rise to 8-1. and one. We'll see if it happens. Next game in the slate, we're going to travel up to Indiana. Two and six, yikes, playing host to Wisconsin and the Badgers watching on the Big Ten Network. And again, this is one where it's really hard to defend or say anything positive about Indiana. Um, it just seems like this one is going to go all the way of Wisconsin and the Badgers, and they're going to rise to six and three overall on the season. FS1, 3.30 Eastern time kick. Watch this. It's Cincinnati playing host to the Knights of UCF. Bearcats at home. Going to be a good one in Nippert Stadium. Cincinnati is not the favorite. Uh, nightmare introduction to the Big 12 for UCF and Cincinnati Bull squads are 0-5 in Big 12 play. The Bearcats have lost six straight entering this matchup. They might be 0-6 against the spread in their last six, but I think they could turn things around and find themselves a cover. Emory Jones has struggled with turnovers this year, but if we've learned anything through the Knights' first five Big 12 games, it's that they can't defend dual threat quarterbacks. Will Howard and K-State dropped 44 on them, while Garrett Green and West Virginia dropped 41 on them just last week. Going with UCF, um, I, I easy cover there, so I don't see them not able to handle that. We'll find out. Proof's in the pudding. ESPN coming to you from Heinz Field, 3.30 Eastern time. Florida State at Pittsburgh. I don't. Is it even called Heinz Field anymore? The stadium is like Acrisure Stadium now or something. Uh, Seminoles are on the road battling the Panthers and their big favorites. I mean, it's it's Pittsburgh's 2-6, and six, Florida State's 8-0. Um, Seminoles are undefeated rolling into this one. The Knolls have one of the cleanest paths to the college football playoffs. Pitt, Miami, North Alabama, and a trip to Florida left on the schedule. They've already escaped their letdown game at Boston College, and they're vastly superior here. Panthers are coming off of a 58-7 drubbing at the hands of Notre Dame. And with little off to play for other than pride, I wouldn't be surprised if this Pitt team starts to kind of fall apart. Moving on in the lineup, this is a 3.30 Eastern time kick. Watching on the Big 12 network, Houston at Baylor. Baylor, Bears playing host to the Cougars. It's going to be an interesting one. The, the Bears are the favorite. Houston, uh, a four-point spread between the two. The Cougars going to be on the road. It's kind of a tough one. Coming off the worst game of the year, a 41-0 beatdown. Uh, at Kansas State, Donovan Smith, who has had an impressive season so far, put up only 88 yards and went 13 for 28. He was averaging around 300 yards and three touchdowns per game in his previous four games. So, you know, I I want to go with Houston on that. Um, I'd like to see them come up with the upset just for the, the fun of it, but I, I don't think they're capable of doing so. I don't know if you can hear that or not. I have a cat that has something wrong with it. Um, and I don't just mean like right now, I mean there's always something wrong with it. So that's what's screaming in the background. <laughs> just, I just can't get up and stop doing this. <laughs> Missouri at Georgia, 3.30 Eastern time kick. Watch it on CBS. Uh, Tigers on the road, Bulldogs playing host. And, you know, I really want to defend Missouri. I'd like to see, this is another one where I think an upset would be really fun, but the Bulldogs are undefeated. 
Um, Missouri is 7-1. and one. I mean, they've had a really, really good season. The Tigers have done everything right. But I just don't see a scenario where they upset Georgia and the Bulldogs. Uh, you know, they're, they're on the road. They're at Georgia. I, how, do you, how do you pull that off? I'm still in my preseason preview. I picked Georgia's Bulldogs to go for the three-peat. I said they're going to win three in a row. First team to do it in, what, 100 years or something ridiculous. I think it's closer to 80, but um, still sticking with that, riding with the Georgia Bulldogs. Next game, also 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on ABC, Oklahoma Sooners at Oklahoma State. Tune into that one and watch it live. It's going to be a good one. Cowboys playing host to the Sooners. The over is 61. That's the experts' pick to bet. Um, a field storming loss in Lawrence. The Oklahoma Sooners headed to Stillwater for what will be their second consecutive road trip. Last game of the Bedlam series, as we know it, the in-state rivalry has been one of the nation's best over the years. Um, Saturday's game figures to be highly entertaining. I, you know, it's hard to decide which way to pick on this. I'm going with Oklahoma. Um, I think Oklahoma State's got the firepower, and anything can happen in a rivalry game like this. But Oklahoma's just had a pretty good year overall. So tune in, watch at Boone Pickens Stadium. Should be a good one. Watch on Fox at 3.30. Penn State on the road battling Maryland's Terrapins. Okay, I really want to pick Maryland, but there's no way. It's a 10-point spread, which isn't, you know, it's not ridiculous. Um, the, the, the Nittany Lions, though, are just so efficient. They've done so many things so well. Um, it would be ridiculous for them to be upset by Maryland's Terrapins. I'm not seeing it. They're at Maryland Stadium, so that does play a little factor. But, yeah, I, I don't know if they'll cover the spread, but I'm going, definitely going with Penn State in that one. Auburn at Vandy, 4 Eastern time kick on the SEC Network. 4-4 four and four Tigers, 2-7 and seven Vanderbilt. 12.5 point spread. Tigers are the favorite by a long shot. I mean, I don't. if Vandy was going to knock somebody off, this would be it, but I'm going with the Tigers. That seems like an obvious choice to me. Uh, seems like a hands-down victory in favor of Auburn in this one. On the Pac-12 network, tune in at Hudson Stadium, California at Oregon. Cal is 3-5, and five, Oregon is 7-1. and one. Watch it at 5.30 Eastern time. It's going to be a good one. Oregon Ducks are huge favorites. I never picked the Oregon Ducks. Go Cal. So going with Cal on that one, it would be the worst bet you've ever made in your life. They're 30-point favorites. Oregon is, not Cal. Um, so don't bet on them. 7 Eastern time on ESPN, Kansas at Iowa State. It's a barn burner. That's going to be a barn burner. Three-point favorites, Iowa State Cyclones. I'm picking them, man. How could you not? How could you not? They're at Cyclone Stadium. Iowa State coming out with a big victory. I'm excited about it. Should be a fun one. Um, Cyclones are unheralded in the midst of the best run of form this season. They've had quite some time. They've won three straight games in October, with two of which coming on the road. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm feeling it. Like, I'm, I'm all in on the Cyclones in that one. That'll be, that'll be on my TV. I got to watch that. That'll be fun. SEC Network, Kentucky and Mississippi State, 7.30 Eastern time kick. Wildcats, Bulldogs. Bulldogs are playing host. Um, you know, they're in Davis Wade Stadium at Scott Field. Because of that, I want to lean the way of Mississippi State. Um, shout out Chris Stevens, but I'm, I'm going Kentucky. Um, I just I just don't think you could pick against them in this scenario. You know, I think they're going to do whatever they have to do to pull out the win. Um, Kentucky Wildcats have lost three games in a row since starting 5-0. It's hard to fault the Wildcats during their current streak, though. Their opponents have been Georgia, Missouri, and Tennessee. So they're going to want to do anything they can to get back in the win column. They're going to reach deep into the bag of tricks. And um, I know they've got a deep one, so... Watch on NBC. It's 7.30 Eastern time, Purdue at Michigan. I don't, has Michigan played a real football team this year? <laughs> I don't, listen, I, and I like, I'm from Michigan originally, so I don't, I, I want to like Michigan, but man, like, come on, what, like, can you schedule anyone? <laughs> come on, come on. Michigan State, uh, or rather Michigan Wolverines, playing host to the Boilermakers. 32 and a half point favorites. I don't, what do you say? Indefensible. Michigan wins. Um, big victory, obviously. Washington at USC. 8 0 Huskies. 7 and 2 USC Trojans. 7 30 Eastern kick. Washington is the favorite by a narrow margin. They're number five in the nation. I'm feeling Penix. I'm feeling the Huskies. Um, Trojans were supposed to be in the conversation for the CFP playoff. Um, 
I just, that ship has sailed. They were crushed at Notre Dame before returning home and suffering that defeat to Utah in week eight. Um, USC surrendered 34 points, 480 yards to a youth's offense that is outside of the top 100 per pass. Um, so I just, needless to say, the Trojans have got a major step up in competition this week, and, and things could get ugly in this. Washington Huskies, Penix taking the victory. This is a fun one on CBS at Bryant-Denny Stadium, 745 Eastern kick. LSU Tigers at Alabama Crimson Tide. Bama is the favorite by three points. Um, Tigers are on the road. I, I'm, I'm going, I'm getting bold. I'm, I'm picking LSU. So everybody loves to see the giant fall. I'm not that guy. Um, I'm not just explicitly rooting against Alabama. You know, I kind of like seeing the Saban legacy continue on and on. Um, but I just, I would like to see the upset tonight. I think LSU comes away with it. We'll see. You got to watch to find out. 10 p.m. Eastern time kick at Bulldog Stadium. How about this one? Boise State. On the road, the Broncos battling the Bulldogs of Fresno State. Watch it on CBS Sports Network. Fresno is a three-point favorite. They sold out their last home game. They might be sold out for this, too. Uh, Fresno is in full force for the Bulldogs, man. They're feeling it. Shout out Cam Worrell, wherever you are, former Chicago Bear and alumni of Fresno State. 10.30 Eastern time, UCLA at Arizona. Bruins, Wildcats. Going to be good. FS1, Arizona Stadium. Um, UCLA Bruins taking on the red-hot Arizona Wildcats in a Pac-12 matchup. Arizona has lost three games this year, two of which in overtime, and the other by only one score to Washington. They're part of a Pac-12 class that's tied for fourth place, not including tiebreakers. UCLA is also in that class with a 3-2 and two conference record. The winner of this game could move up into a solo fourth place in the standings or even move into third place, depending on what the other teams do. This is a big game for both teams, and winning could have big implications. I just, that's that seems like uh, a hands-down Arizona moment to me. Wildcats come away with a victory. Hey, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have NFL football picks. Don't go anywhere. Win big sports talk, sports betting podcast. Welcome back. Win Big Sports Talk, sports betting podcast. I'm Gabriel Shry. Follow the podcast. Follow Win Big Sports at WBSN Sports on social media. Follow me at Shry Guy, S C H R A Y G U I. Let's get started with our NFL picks. Sunday morning, 9 30 Eastern Time on the NFL Network, Miami Dolphins, Kansas City Chiefs. And they are at Deutsche Bank Park in Frankfurt, Germany. So you got to get up nice and early, 9 30 a.m. to watch this. Um, the favorite in this one is the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I'm sure the NFL schedulers were all excited about this. This is a league showcase game. It's in Germany. Both teams are 6-2. and two. Um, Some of the most feared playmakers in pro football on these two rosters. I'm going with the Chiefs. Um, I think the Dolphins, I mean, it's going to be neck and neck. I think this is a, a two or three point game. Um, I would be excited to see Miami pull it out, but obviously the Chiefs are the darling of the NFL. The darling of Las Vegas, and I would stick with them if you're going to bet some money on that. 1 p.m. Eastern time kick on CBS. Arizona Cardinals at Cleveland Browns. Going with the Browns. Riding with Cleveland. Um, Cardinals are 1-7. and seven. Deshaun Watson is making his return to the field uh, for the Browns as they take on the Cardinals. You know, the Arizona is set to take their quarterback decision up to the last minute, whether it's going to be Clayton Toon or Kyler Murray in the first game back from an ACL tear. Um, the Cards are a big favorite, but I think the Browns probably walk away with that one. Hard to say. It'll be interesting. Um, I think the, the Cardinals would be a good bet in that. Whether you uh, believe in them or not, it'd be an interesting wager um, with the coin toss on the quarterbacks. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Fox. Chicago Bears, New Orleans Saints. Bears are 2-6. and six, Saints are 4-4. Four and four. Um, 
you know, there's a lot of different ways you can take this. So they're at Caesars Superdome. The Saints are eight and a half point favorites. I, the Bears, in my mind, have been hapless. I can't believe they've won two games. I just don't see Chicago being able to do anything. Fields is sidelined with his thumb injury. Tyson Badgett will he'll he'll continue the experience. His dad's a wild man. If you haven't seen that video of his dad arm wrestling Tom Pulisero into oblivion, you need to go find that on the internet. It's hilarious. Um, I'm all in on the Saints in this one. I don't see them pulling it out. All right, I'm going against the spread here. I'm going against everything on this one. Packers are the favorite in a 1 p.m. Eastern time kick where they host at Lambeau Field. Los Angeles Rams on the road watching on Fox. Packers are 2-5. and five. Rams are 3-5. and five. I'm throwing that out the window. I don't care what the experts say. Los Angeles Rams, Matt Stafford. Um, don't bet on that. I love Matt Stafford too much to trust me when I say he's going to win. Um, Matt Stafford is listed as day-to-day right now. He didn't play the second half against the Dallas Cowboys this last weekend. So Packers are an ideal team to fade. Um, they're 2-5 and five and seem focused on the future. So they just traded away uh, Douglas, the cornerback. Their secondary was already bad to begin with, so L.A. should be able to do plenty of damage through the air, no matter who's playing quarterback. Um, And this Rams team is really talented on the offensive side of the ball. Still in the 1 p.m. window, Fox, Minnesota Vikings, and Atlanta Falcons. Speaking of damaged quarterbacks, both of these two are 4-4, and um, and Kirk Cousins is out. He won't play anymore. Um, Campaign isn't quite over yet for the Minnesota Vikings. They're on a three-game winning streak and they'll need to win in Atlanta this weekend without Cousins and Justin Jefferson to keep pace in the NFC wildcard race. I think they got that. I think the Vikings are still going to be kind of reeling to some degree at least um, from the loss of their star quarterback, Kirk Cousins. We'll see. You know, there's always a chance they get it together quick and figure it out. And next man up mentality, but I think the Falcons have got the game plan. Shout out Chris Goforth. Seattle Seahawks at Baltimore Ravens, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Um, in the last five, both of these teams have only lost one. They're 5-2, and 6-2 and two respectively, Seattle and Ravens. Um, Ravens are the favorite. Baltimore a six-point favorite in this. I think if you're going to bet on it, this would, might be a good leg to throw in for, for numbers reasons uh, in favor of the Seahawks, but I'm picking the Ravens to win, and I think they'll probably cover that spread, too, of about a touchdown. Um, seems likely to me on paper. Still in the 1 p.m. window, this time on CBS. It's the 3 and 4 Buccaneers at the 3 and 4 Texans. Now, the Texans have won three of their last five. The Bucs have won one of their last five. Houston Texans are the favorite by two and a half points. Two not so good teams coming off of humbling losses. Um, one stings more than the other, obviously. A valiant effort um, for the Bucs, who no one expected to win. They kept the game close in Buffalo last Thursday night. Baker Mayfield continues to play through a left knee contusion, and he'll battle through it. Texans had a bad week eight, but I'm going with Texans. Um, I'm feeling Houston in this matchup. I think they walk away with not an easy victory, but a clean one. Washington Commanders, New England Patriots. Boy, oh boy. Three and five, two and six. Commanders, three and five. Patriots, two and six. Both have won one of their last five. Pats are Two and a half point favorites. Um, if you're looking to bet on this, I don't think you can. I, I mean, it's a. It, if you're a Washington Commanders fan, I understand. You know, it's not hot, hot water. Don't touch. But I wouldn't be taking. Uh, I wouldn't be taking the Commanders in this one. I think the over is a really good one. Um, the over is 40. So if it's still around that line when you're uh, ready to bet, I think that's an interesting one. I think they'll probably score 40 or more. Okay, we're moving into the 4 o'clock window, 4.05 Eastern time on CBS at Bank of America Stadium. Indy Colts on the road, Carolina Panthers. Colts are 3-5, and five. Panthers are 1-6. and six. Colts have only won one of their last five, so bad form, bad year. If you're going to bet on it, I think the way to go would be to just bet that the Colts win. Um, they're only 2.5 point favorites, but that would be the bet in my mind. Um, they're coming into a matchup, looking at a three-game skid. Gardner Minshew has stepped up and been playing well since Richardson was ruled out for the season, and I think he'll have some success against this Carolina defense. He's got a lot left to prove. He's trying to hang in the league, and I don't know this is a good chance for him. On Fox at 425 at Lincoln Financial Field, it's the Dallas Cowboys at Philadelphia Eagles. Why isn't this on primetime? This is a good one. In their last five, the Cowboys have lost two. Eagles have only lost one. Cowboys 5-2, and two, Eagles 7-1. and one. The over is 46 and a half. I like that. I like the over in that one. 
Um, and I obviously like the Philly Eagles. I think it's, I think they're going to win. Um, I think they just continue to grind it out. Dallas will be a tough test for them. So if they were going to come away with a loss on uh, their next few games, this matchup is the one that to watch for them. This is going to be a struggle. It's a battle, not a hand, hand it to them. Give me type situation, but Either way, uh, great game. Excited to, to watch that one. On Fox, 425, New York Giants at Las Vegas Raiders. Wow. They're at Allegiant Stadium. Um, I, I, everything's falling apart for the Raiders. They've won two of their last five, uh, but they're 3-5 and five on the year. The Giants are 2-6, and six, and the Raiders are actually still favorites. You know what they say. Never bet against Vegas. I'm betting against Vegas. Um, take the Giants to win. I like the under. Both of these teams have struggled um, I do think this game will live up to its 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 hype or lack there of hype, right? They these are two bad football teams. Um, both the defenses have been the star of the show. The Giants have been really good on that side of the ball in the last four games. They've allowed less than 15 points per game. The Raiders' defense has been solid, but the both both offenses have been mediocre at, at the best. Um, I think this game stays under. I think the Giants win. That's about all I got to say about that. NBC, hey, it's the night game, Sunday Night Football, Buffalo Bills at Cincinnati Bengals. So the Bills, like every year I feel like they're, it's, everybody's like, oh, the Bills are going to do it. This is it. Um, and they, this last five has been rocky. 1-1, one, one, lost 1-1, one, 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 lost 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one. So the Bengals have won all four of their games in their last five. They're 4-3. and three. The Bills are 5-3. and three. Um, it's not that often that premier quarterback and offensive matchups live up to the billing, but it should be the case. The total has already been bet up from the opener of 46 and a half, but that doesn't scare me off of that one. Um, the Bills are playing a lot of no huddle up tempo offense and pushing the pace, so that should find some success over the middle. Um, trying to get around the Bengals' safeties, Kincaid, Shakir. Um, no quarterback in the NFL is playing better the last few weeks than Burrow. And the Bills don't have the linebacking core or the best defense to slow down what he'll try to do. So between those two things, you know, I I think the over is an interesting one there. Um, It's definitely on my card to look at. Since he bangles, I'm going to take them to win. Joe Burrow. Here we go. We'll see. I don't know. I like I like Joe Burrow. He's got the big chain. One guy. ESPN, 8.15 Eastern Time kick. This is Monday Night Football. Watch it. They're going to be at MetLife Stadium. Oh, boy. Uh, New York Jets playing host to the Chargers. It's a long trip from Los Angeles to New York, but the Chargers are still the favorite in this. A lot of experts are saying bet the Jets. I'm not. I do like the under, um, but obviously I'm taking the Chargers to win, as I just said. I, I've, I'm just feeling the Chargers. I don't have a good reason for you. That's it. I'm sending you home. You can bet on that or don't. I don't care. But in football should be a good one. Thanks for tuning in this week. Can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, so much fun bringing you the podcast week in and week out. Win big sports betting, sports talk podcast. I want to give a huge shout out to our partners. 105.3 Power Radio, 96.9 Fresh Air Radio, Heartland News Feed, and, uh, and everybody who tunes in every week. I really appreciate it. Um, having fun with the podcast again this year and, and thankful to be able to bring it to you each week. Be sure to visit us, wbsnsports.com. You can click onto the contact tab if you want to sponsor the podcast and we'll get you on air real quick. You can also connect with us on social media at WBSN Sports. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, YouTube. We're huge on YouTube. Probably where you're watching the podcast if you're not listening on the radio. We'll catch you next time. Have a great week and make safe bets. Like I am you and you are me